Hi everyone, my name is Ann Rogers. I'm a research data manager at PMA, and the purpose of this video is to go over tags and how PMA uses them. If you're unfamiliar with GitHub or Gitkraken, please see our other videos, the GitHub SOP, or the Gitkraken support website. Tags can be used in GitHub and Gitkraken to mark certain commits as special or to re-identify where an event happened in the commit history. PMA uses tags to identify when data products were released. So once a version of a data product, such as the two pagers or the SOI tables, is published on the PMA website, we create tags. For example, say that it is the end of data collection for round seven in this country, and the analysis due files have been updated and run, there's no problems with the output, and we publish a version of the brief using these do files and the data sets produced by them. To create a tag, you right click on the commit where you want to create the tag. So here, or since the branch is at that commit, you can right click the branch name. And you click create annotated tag here. It's important to remember to click the annotated tag and not just the tag because PMA uses the annotations. Now the tag name should be the round name followed by the data product name followed by the version number. So for example, if we were creating the two pager here, we would say it was the round seven two pager version one. Now, the version is the version number that's been published to the website, not the draft version that has gone back and forth between the communications team and the country team. We hit enter, and then we get the prompt to write an annotation message. The annotation message should be the data set used to produce this data product. So if we are creating the two pager, and it's the first version of the two pager, we used the wealth weight all data set. So let's say wealth weight all, and as you all know, the data sets come with the date they were produced at the end of their names. So let's say July 16th, 2019. Click Submit. And this tag will now appear here in the commit graph and also here in the left panel. So if you've gone many commits past when you created this tag, you can always use the left panel to find it again. The next step is to right click the tag and click push tag name round seven two pager v1 to origin. This puts the tag on GitHub, which is actually the main reason we use tags at PMA. Because once the tag has been put on GitHub, the version of the do files as you created that tag will be saved as a release. Now, what does that release look like on GitHub? We're on the repositories page in GitHub. As you can see, the PMA training organization, the tags repository, and now, what you'll notice here is this line has commits, branches, releases, and contributors. What we care about are the releases. You'll notice this little icon matches the tag icon in Git Kraken. As you can see, the same matching icon here and here. Let's go to the releases. Now that we're on the releases page, you can see the name of the tag we just created, R7 two pager V1, and you can see these little ellipses or the three dots. If you click on them, you'll see the annotation message we just created, Wealth Weight All 16th July 2019. Now you'll also see below the zip icon. What this allows you to do is download the do files as they were when we created the tag in a zip file. This is helpful if, say, it's been several months 
since you created the tag and the do files have changed since then but somebody wants to look at the do files and understand why your data product looks the way it does based on the code you wrote at the time. So you can click on the zip file and it will download the zip and you can open this folder and there are all your do files as they were the day you created the tag. And that's how PMA uses tags. Thanks for watching this video.